For all my criticisms of General Motors and its electrification efforts, well, to be fair on me, they did only deliver 27 EVs in the fourth quarter of 2021. And over the last six months, GM has delivered less than 500 EVs total in North America and Canada and Australia and South Africa and Japan. And um, I'll just stop there. That said, this new product from General Motors is, I've got to say, extremely impressive. And it does show their dedication towards their future potential production of electric vehicles. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Thank you for subscribing. Great to have you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back. Everyone else, General Motors just announced a standard feature for its EVs. In other words, all of its EVs will come with this technology. And if that's actually true, if this technology does in fact come in their $30,000 SUV, electric $30,000 SUV, by the way, this is just going to be a game changer for General Motors if they can pull this off. Well, if it comes in that vehicle, I would be shocked. I would be amazed and I'll have to give General Motors a hell of a lot of credit. Let's hope it happens. Now, the truth is this product is a heat pump. GM is trying to confuse the market by calling it Ultium Energy Recovery and using all kinds of Toyota-like jargon, which does ultimately just confuse people. General Motors, I don't advise doing this. People just get baffled by your jargon, which even probably your own staff don't understand. But anyway, Ultium Energy Recovery will capture energy from the battery that may otherwise be wasted. It's essentially a heat pump in a very similar way to the Octo Valve in Tesla's electric cars. The system uses that heat and that additional energy storage to increase range, charging speed, and acceleration. GM says that like all EVs, batteries and related parts produce heat. The system can store this excess heat when needed to take advantage of it. A little bit like when you brake, right? When you brake your car, heat is generated. While well, EVs are able to store that heat in the battery. Internal combustion engine vehicles cannot. You just have to essentially, every, well, put it this way. Every time you brake your car and you're not driving an EV, you're losing money. So every time you press your brake pedal, just imagine... How much money did I just lose then? Was it 20 cents, a dollar? Don't know. It depends on your car, how much your brake pads cost, how much those disc rotors cost when you got to replace the discs or get them grinded down. Yeah. One of the big advantages of EVs is this ability to recapture heat loss. For example, if the stored heat is used to keep the cabin warm, the vehicle will use less energy for its HVAC or HVAC system which means more energy for the vehicle itself, better energy efficiency. GM goes so far as to say that the new Ultium system can even capture outside humidity as well as body heat produced by passengers. Personally, I think that is baloney and it's extremely unlikely that that will make any noticeable difference to the car whatsoever. Maybe like 0.01%, something so minuscule you won't even be able to see it. I don't think it's necessary for GM to make extreme claims. It sounds like the product in and of itself is actually pretty good. GM's Executive Vice President for Global Product Development, Purchasing and Supply Chain, Doug Parks, shared in the press release. Having a ground-up EV architecture gives us the freedom to build in standard features like Ultium's energy recovery capabilities. This helps us squeeze more efficiency, performance, and overall customer benefit out of our EVs. I think he makes a really good point that he should shoot over the across the ocean to BMW, shoot it over to Mercedes-Benz, shoot it over to some of the other companies who are currently making electric vehicles on internal combustion engine platforms and claiming they're not compromised. They are. In short, says Inside EVs, GM's energy recovery system reduces the overall need for the car's battery pack to provide power for heating and various vehicle functions. GM 
says the system can add up to 10% more range to its electric cars, probably in maybe extreme conditions, you would think, but either way, up to 10% is a pretty big number. Range benefits will likely be obvious in cold temperatures, since less energy would be wasted trying to keep the cabin cool. The press release says that the Ultium energy recovery system should allow General Motors to get more range and better performance out of its battery packs than similarly sized packs from competing automakers that aren't using heat pumps, Nissan, there's a few others, or comparable technology. Moreover, Ultium vehicles with the standard feature have the potential to charge more quickly via battery preconditioning. Not sure what battery preconditioning is? Well, the idea is that your, say your navigation system, this is how it works in a Tesla, will have pre-mapped locations for where you can charge your vehicle. Your car would then know how long it needs to go before it needs to charge. It would see that it's coming up to a charging point in say 20 minutes. The battery would preheat itself for optimum charging with say 20 minutes to go before you get to your destination. Then once you get to your destination, because the battery is already preheated in order to charge more efficiently, you'll then save money and time in the charging process. Now, how this will work with GM, I don't know, because obviously GM doesn't have its own proprietary EV charger network like Tesla does. We'll wait and see. Interestingly, General Motors notes that the origin of the energy recovery feature can be traced all the way back to the company's EV1. By the way, the EV1, they scrapped every single car. It doesn't exist anymore. Crazy. No one knows why. There's a lot of conspiracies going on around it. If you know why they did it, if you're involved in this, let us all know in the comment section below. I've got my theories and I've shared them before. Let me know what your theories are if you have one. Now, the EV1 was GM's first electric car. And it used a heat pump that was developed by GM engineers at the time, which is pretty incredible, really. GM says the feature is available on all current Altium EVs and it will be standard in all upcoming Altium models. In other words, the current GMC Hummer EV that's for sale right now has the feature and so does General Motors Chevy Bolt and the Bolt EUV. Uh, da, 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 da. Wrong. No, it doesn't have that. GM should probably change their press release to reflect the fact that no, GM's Bolt and the Bolt EUV do not have this feature. Hopefully they do at some point in the future, but I doubt that they will considering many changes would have to be made to the vehicles to incorporate this technology. I think this is great news. Hopefully every automaker that manufactures EVs makes similar technology. This is one of the big ways that we can increase range in vehicles. There's lots of other ways. This is one of them. And ultimately, this will contribute towards my belief, my strong belief that by 2030, electric vehicles will be commonplace and affordable that have a 1,000 kilometer range or a 600 mile range. If you look at battery energy density and the massive improvements we've seen over the last 10 years, it's very likely, especially once automakers start using LFP batteries en masse. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.